Should you take creatinine supplements? Can it damage your kidneys? Today I'm going to answer these questions for you. My name is Dr. Arjun Sabarwal. I'm a nephrologist. My friends, family and even my patients ask me this question all the time. So let's get into it. Firstly, why do people take creatinine supplements? It's among the top sports supplements available today. It is widely used to enhance muscle mass, strength and power. Additionally, it also has some other health advantages which we will speak about in a minute. Let me give you an example. Supplementing with creatinine has been shown to boost your brain creatinine levels by nearly 10%, which can help increase your brain health. We all have creatinine naturally in our body. Our liver, pancreas and kidneys make up to 1 gram of creatinine a day. We also eat food rich in creatinine such as seafood, salmon and tuna and also red meat. Your body stores creatinine as phosphocreatinine, which is stored in your muscles where it is used for energy. Nevertheless, as the saying goes, more isn't always better. Research shows that creatinine supplementation is relatively well tolerated and is safe at the recommended doses. Also, oh, what is the recommended dose? 3 to 5 grams per day. And there have been many publications proving this. However, its safety in chronic kidney disease still remains uncertain. So what does evidence tell us about creatinine supplementation? First, let's talk about the health benefits. But before we do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button to help grow the channel. First is muscle growth and performance. It has the ability to improve high intensity exercise performance, which in turn can lead to greater gains in muscle mass over time. This is because creatinine helps increase in the production of a molecule called ATP, which is a key form of energy during muscle contractions. Second is cognitive enhancement. There is growing evidence suggesting that supplementation with creatinine can help improve cognitive function, particularly in situations of sleep deprivation or stressful condition. Creatinine is thought to enhance brain energy availability, which could be beneficial for mental performance. It also has neuroprotective property. Research has indicated that it could be used in diseases such as Parkinson's and Huntington's. It also has bone health and heart health properties. One of the most important things we've seen in creatinine supplements is anti-aging properties. This is particularly helpful in older adults to maintain their muscle mass and strength, which reduces the risk of falls and injuries. Preliminary research suggests that creatinine may help in the treatment of certain mental health conditions such as depression by boosting availability of energy in the brain cells. Now let's talk about some side effects. One of the most common side effects with creatinine supplementation is gastrointestinal upset or diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration. So make sure you look out for that and increase your water intake if that happens. These supplements are also associated with increased water retention because most of the water goes into the muscle. This is important of how creatinine functions and contributes its effect on muscle growth and performance. Creatinine pulls water into your muscle cell which increases the volume of these cells. This in turn causes increased muscle size, enhanced muscle function and also increased protein synthesis. However, there are some side effects of this. Number 1. Weight gain. Initially, you might see an increase in your weight when you start taking these supplements. But it's not because of fat, it's because of increasing your muscle mass. Because water is being pulled inside the muscles, there is a risk of dehydration. So like we mentioned before, make sure you increase your water intake. You can also get some bloating uh, when, you take, when you start taking these supplements. However, that's not harmful. Let's talk about the main topic. How does creatinine affect your kidneys? The topic of creatinine supplementation and its impact on kidney health has been extensively studied and mostly reassurance results have been found with individuals with normal kidney function. Research indicates that creatinine is safe short term and long term in individuals whose kidney function are normal. And clinical trials have consistently shown that people without any kidney disease have benefited from creatinine supplementation. However, for those who've got chronic kidney disease stage 3 or stage 4 or even stage 5 there's very less research available and I would be cautious to start someone on creatinine supplements if they have a pre-existing kidney disease. This is because creatinine can cause an increase in serum creatinine levels which is a common marker used to diagnose and monitor kidney dysfunction. 
However, this increases because of the conversion of this supplement into a breakdown form which is measured in the blood. So in summary, creatinine supplements are safe in people without any pre-existing kidney disease. However, there is more research that is needed for people who got kidney disease stage 3, 4 or 5. So what is my take on it? If you are starting these supplements, no matter how old you are, I think it's better to get a blood test done before you start them. You will have a baseline result of your kidney function and then you can monitor it every year by doing a repeat blood test. It takes less than 5 minutes and it's not painful. So what should you be measuring? So you can tell your doctor you want to get your creatinine level measured, your blood urea nitrogen level measured and also you should check your liver function test because these supplements can damage your liver. Other things to measure would be your sodium level and your potassium levels because creatinine supplements can cause water retention that can also change your sodium levels in the blood. One more important thing to talk about is follow up and frequency of testing. Like we said, you can have a baseline test and then every year you should get a blood test done to check your creatinine levels. If everything remains stable, you can change this frequency to every two years or three years. Now, before we finish, I just want to say that you should always follow the recommended doses. Taking too much creatinine supplements can cause serious side effects. One of the most serious side effects like we spoke about before was gastrointestinal disturbance. It can cause severe diarrhea which can lead to dehydration and can further damage your kidneys. So in summary, stick to the recommended dose, have a blood test before starting these supplements. Because remember, kidney disease in the initial stages has no symptoms. Hope you like this video and make sure you hit the subscribe button. See you next time.